Hey guys, in this video, let's talk about uh, push notifications in Ionic 2 applications through Firebase. I've already made a video regarding the same a uh, few months back, but in this video, I'll show you a much simpler way of doing the same. So let's get started, guys. Uh, first of all, what you need to do is I have scaffolded out a Firebase application and got it open here in my VS Code editor, as you can see. So uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll install the push notification plugin, the native plugin, this one. Push notification plugin, right? I'll install this. So to install this Ionic plugin, add phone gap plugin push variable sender ID, right? So I need to have a sender ID. I'll copy this and paste it here. For this sender ID, what I need to do is uh, click on Firebase. Okay, choose your app. If you hadn't created an app, create an app, choose your app, click on Fire, uh, overview and then click on add another app. If you hadn't created any app, then it will just show three fab buttons. Uh, if not, it will show like this. You just click on add another app and click on Android. Here it's showing Android package name, right? Give your package name from uh, uh, config.xml. Here it's there, right? Just select it, copy it and give it here. Click on register app. Just click on continue and just click on finish. That's it guys. So now what you need to do is uh, you will have a sender ID. How do you need to get how you can see that is just click here and then click on settings. Click on cloud messaging. Here you have a sender ID, right? This sender ID won't work for you since I'll delete this as soon as this video is uploaded. So you have to make use of your own sender ID. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, copy this and then instead of this XXXX paste it here. Okay, this is done. So the next thing we need to do is as usual install the uh, native wrapper for uh, push plugin. So npm install at Ionic name will just copy paste. Uh, okay, let this get installed. What we can do is we can simply make use of the code given in the docs to uh, start off with it. So I'll just copy this from here. First I'll copy this. App app module.ts import push from at ionic native push. Okay and uh, add it as a provider then we'll copy this as i said before first we'll copy this and then go to app.component.ts paste it here then as usual add a uh, public And then uh, what I'll do is, this is not needed, right? As permission, we don't need that. And then we'll just click on push options, get the push options and this, all this thing. Copy this. And rather than have it inside the constructor, I'll have a separate method, this dot push setup, okay. Setup. And, uh, I'll have a push setup function. Inside that, I'll paste all this, remove all the, oh my God. Okay. Uh, now it's almost ready, except one thing we need to do is, we need to change the sender ID here. So as usual, I'll get the sender ID from my Firebase console as well. Paste it here, save this. And if you notice, there are some things we need to change here. For example, uh, this is the registration thing, right? Once your device gets, I mean, the first time you install this app on your device, it will give a device token. That is that uh, device registered registration token. So uh, if you want to see this, you can simply, it will be an object, it will be JSON object. 
so what you can do is instead of console.log you can simply give alert and instead of this comma just give a plus same goes for error as well okay whereas if you receive a notification what you need to do is uh, we'll remove this if you receive a notification then uh, you need to if the user is has opened your app and uh, it's visible then you need to uh, show the notification straight away if not you should push it on to the user right uh, user's device right so what i'll do is first i'll check whether the user has the app in the foreground so if notification dot additional data dot foreground okay 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 if this is the case then what i'll do is i'll uh, maybe display an alert okay uh, i'll have an alert controller so that my alert looks a bit prettier alert controller okay and then public alert controller alert controller okay and save this once again use that here let your alert equal to uh, this dot alert control dot create uh, there are two fields right text and uh, no title title is uh, new push notification push notification notification and uh, messages uh notification dot uh, message okay and uh, do we need to specify duration we don't need to specify duration just click on just close this and uh, uh, your alert dot present okay it's a very simple piece of code guys what i'm doing here is if the app is running in the foreground i am just displaying the message contained in the notification in an alert uh, if not it will simply get pushed on to the mobile device that's the concept of push notifications right so uh, let's see how this runs on a mobile device give me a minute guys i'll connect my mobile as you can see here guys uh, our app is now running on our device and i see an alert saying device registered object object which means that our device has been registered and our uh, push token is in this object so and the device token is in this object so the next thing we'll do is we'll try sending a message and see if the message is received on this uh, mo uh, for mobile device so i'll just give okay here okay uh, and then what i'll do is go back to firebase uh, click on notifications and then click on new message here you can select whether um, first i'll enter the message uh, this is a message okay uh, hello from firebase okay and uh, here you can select whether you need to send it to a single device or a user segment or a topic if uh, that is if the user as users are subscribed to a certain topic uh, you can have the topic alone and who, uh, if you send a message whoever is subscribed to that topic will receive that push notification that's the whole point of that one uh, rather than me talking about it i'll just send you a notification to all the users who have installed this application on their device uh, firebase push right so now whichever user has installed this app on their device will receive a notification uh, let's send it send the message send let's see whether what happens here see you get an alert right if i sorry guys if i had a button like okay or cancel or something then i could dismiss this anyway uh, you see that right new push notification this is a message this is the one which we 
gave it here, right? Wait. See, you can see this, right? You get my point, right? This is a message and uh, it just shows new push notification or something. The reason why it shows new push notification instead of hello from Firebase is that we gave it in the code like that. So uh, you get my point, right? So uh, now you might ask what if the um, app is not running? Since this is in the foreground, uh, since our app was running, it's just showing it uh, as an alert, right? So I'll just, you know, close this application and uh, send a message again. This trackpad is... Hello again. Uh, second message from FD. And once again, I'll select my See, you can see that there is a small icon like thing here, right? That's our push notification, guys. If we change the icon, then it will take the shape of that icon. Uh, but now, since we haven't changed, let's just uh, see. Hello again, Firebase push. You get the point, right? Our push notification is displayed here and we can even write a function uh, that uh, uh, function that handles the click event on this notification. For example, if I click this notification now, Nothing happens, right? Just my uh, app is trying to open again. But uh, you can write a separate function, a custom function on what should happen if you click that uh, push notification. So, uh, oh, see, it's, <laughs> it's registering again. App has opened, that's all. Uh, anyway, this is this is what I wanted to show you guys today. This is a, you, you might want to see this, right? You see, can see the merits of this uh, method, right? It's pretty much simpler and much, much easier than my previous method. So, uh, yeah, guys, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. A lot of guys have been asking me on how to send a push notification to a single device and how to programmati programmatically send notifications. So, I'll cover, I'll cover both these topics in my next video. Possibly that video will also get released this week. So, uh, stick around. Just click on subscribe if you want to watch that video as well. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button and share it with someone else who might struggle with push notification or a large amount of people have been struggling with push notification guys kindly help them out kindly post it in stack overflow reddit or uh, tweet about it or whatever if i do that then they will think that i am promoting my um, uh, channel or video or something and uh, yeah i might get a community strike or something against that so kindly uh, share and uh, spread the word around among your friends uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.